making your clotting factor work for you. Sophia and her son, John, both have bleeding disorders. Even though they have bleeding disorders, they live normal and active lives. Sophia works and likes to go to the gym. John goes to school and plays on a soccer team. To protect themselves from bleeds, Sophia and John follow a treatment schedule called Profi. Profi is short for prophylaxis. This is when you take clotting factor infusions on a regular basis, such as every other day, to prevent a bleed. These infusions provide the clotting protein called clotting factor that their bodies are not able to make. The clotting factor helps protect them from bleeding. Once the clotting factor is infused, their bodies use it up over time, leaving factor levels lower as time passes. One aspect of how clotting factor works is called half-life. Half-life is the time that it takes for the body to use up half of the clotting factor. For every half-life that passes, the amount of clotting factor in their body is reduced by half. For example, if John's clotting factor product has a half-life of 12 hours and John infuses to 100% on Monday at 8 a.m., then 12 hours later at 8 p.m., how much clotting factor is left in his body? Only half of the clotting factor will be left in his body. Another 12 hours later, at 8 a.m. on Tuesday, how much clotting factor will be in his body? Only half of the amount from 8 p.m. will be left in his body. This leaves John with one quarter of the initial amount infused 24 hours before. The half-life of Sophia's and John's clotting factor plays a role in when they infuse. Sophia and John use different clotting factor therapies. They have different lifestyles. They participate in different activities. Sophia goes to the gym on different days than John plays soccer. Because of all of these differences, they have different infusion schedules. Their infusion schedules have been personalized for them with their healthcare team. They infuse at different times on different days. This provides them protection when they need it most. It is important for Sophia and John to have clotting factor in their bodies at all times. This helps protect them against spontaneous bleeds. Spontaneous bleeds are bleeds that happen without an obvious cause. However, during physical activities, such as working out, heavy yard work, or playing sports, high levels of clotting factor are needed. You should perform high-level activities when factor levels are at their highest just after infusing to protect against bleeds. If John has soccer practice on Wednesdays, he should infuse before practice on Wednesday. If Sophia wants to go to the gym, she should infuse before she goes to the gym. Other activities like doing work at a desk, reading, studying, or sleeping do not require as much clotting factor. These are not risky activities. They can be done longer after infusing clotting factor or closer to the next scheduled infusion. This is why it is often not recommended to infuse right before bed, since it will be a long time before the body is active again. Infusion schedules should allow you to participate in higher risk activities when your clotting factor levels are high. It is important to remember the amount of clotting factor in the body is based on time, not activity. This means that if Sophia goes to the gym after an infusion, she does not use up her clotting factor at a faster rate because she is being more active. Her clotting factor is used up as time passes, not because of the activity she is doing. The amount of clotting factor decreases by half after one half life, no matter what Sophia does after she infuses. Half-life is also important to think about during a bleed, too. John got a bad spontaneous bleed in his knee and needed to infuse before the next infusion on his Profi schedule. There are some reasons that clotting factor may be used up more quickly in the body, such as a bad bleed, infections, or surgery. So always check with your healthcare team. It may be necessary to infuse more often. Just like John and Sophia, it is important to work with your healthcare team to find the best infusion schedule for you. There are many clotting factor products available. They have different half-lives. Everyone's body eliminates clotting factors differently. Working with your healthcare team can help you decide the best days and times for your infusions. 
based on all of your activities during a week. You should also work with your healthcare team if you have bleeds, even though you have been following your Profi schedule. They may run tests to better understand your clotting factor half-life, adjust your schedule, or assess for other potential complications. For more information on half-life, treatment, and staying active, visit stepsforliving.hemophilia.org.